Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to debug in Roblox. So when you start to script a lot, sooner or later you're going to run into a bug in your program. And you're going to want to find that bug and to fix your program. So there are many ways to do it. Uh, one of the ways to do it would be to insert print statements into your code so that you can print out the status of your variables. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the debugging tool that comes with Roblox Studio. And we're going to use the code from our previous tutorial as an example. So let's go to the uh, service script service and we're going to open up the old script that we had from the last lesson. And before we go to the script, let's just play and take a look to see what the script is supposed to do. So if you remember, the script was supposed to paint the left staircase here. So give it a few seconds and there it goes. And also it printed a, a message first when we, we have a part that is not a part, it, it is a model. So it says got a model. All right, so now let's go to the script. So here in my scripts, I declare a couple of variables and then we have a for in pairs, for in i pairs loop, and we're just looping through all the parts from our model. And if we find a part, we're, we're changing the color of the part to blue. And if our object is not a part, then we print out got a model. So now let's take a look at how we can use debugging to examine our code. First thing about debugging is you're going to be inserting breakpoints. So you're going to select where you want the, the, uh, the script to stop, where the system to stop. So for example, I want it to stop at line number two. So I'm going to, I'm going to go next to the two and I'm going to click on the space right here, right next to the two. And as you click there, you see a dot, a red dot there. That means that line number two now has a breakpoint. So when I press play, the system is gonna stop on that line for me, for me to examine my script, examine the, the code. And if you go to your game, you're gonna see that your game is not playing because it's it is stopping right here and the way I walk through my code is I use these two buttons up here so the first one is when you reach a function that you made and you want to step into your function you use the step into the function button and this one is for you to exit your function so if you step into your function and you want to just go back to the main code you click this one to come back to the main code, to the next line after the function. Otherwise, if you just want to step through your main code, just use this button here, step over, and it's going to take you to the next line. Like, for example, if I click it here, it goes to the next line, and I click it again, it's going to go to the next line, but remember, this is a wait for 10 seconds, so you're going to see that it's going to wait for 10 seconds before it goes to the next line. And there it is, it's at the next line now. So it's at the for loop. If I click step over again, it goes inside the for loop and it's doing the if statement now. So on this line, I can check the value of my variables. For example, if I wanna see what step is right here, I'm just gonna hover my, my cursor over the variable and if you look, you can see that it's a step, it's a part, right? And there's a little arrow here. If I click on that arrow, or I didn't even click on it, I just hover over it, and it shows me all the properties of step. So step is a part, and these are all the properties of that part at that time, at the current time where you're at this line, all right? So here you see all the properties of the part. For example, if you go down to brick color, 
you can see that the part colors is new yellow right and th there are other properties here like the part is anchored all right so let's move on i'm gonna close this and i'm just gonna step over to the next line all right so now we're, we're gonna do the change color here so remember the step color was new yellow right so after we do this line i'm gonna step over this line now if i check my step part again you're gonna see that the color has been changed okay where's my brick color right here so now the color has been changed to bright blue so apparently brick color dot blue is bright blue so now i'm done painting my first brick my first step on the left i'm gonna keep on clicking on step over and then for the for loop it's gonna it's gonna go to the end and it's gonna loop back up because remember it has to iterate through all the elements of this array steps and if we look at the array steps let's see if we can see what's in it that th there you can see it the, the array steps has six elements because remember like five of those elements are our parts they are the steps and look at this element number three here it says first three and that's the one that is the model this one is not a step as you can see the class name is a model right so when you use debugging you can actually see everything inside your program inside your script like you can see all the variables you can see what's inside them so I'm gonna keep on stepping over here. We did the first part already. Now we're gonna do the second part. So we're changing the color of the second part. When we're done with the if statement, it goes to the end of the if statement. And then it hits the end of the for statement. Then it loops back up again. So now we're at the third element inside our step here. And I believe this one is going to be the, the model. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to click step here again. So it, it does the if here, right? If step is a part, let's check step here. Step is not a part. Step is a model. So let's see what happened if I click step again here. And you can see that it goes to the else part here, right? So it's gonna print got a model so just keep an eye on the output window here as I click on step over and there it printed got a model all right so that's how you debug your program debug your code by stepping through your code and using the breakpoint is gonna help if you have a very big script. Like uh, if you have a couple thousand line script, you do not wanna start at the top and step over. That's gonna take too long. So maybe you, you just pick a point where you wanna go to, right? And then you let it run. When it hits that point, then you can do the step over to step over that section of the code that you think there is a problem there. Another way to step through your code is to use the resume button here. So you can put in uh, breakpoints, right? Let me remove this one. And if you hit resume, resume is gonna jump to the next breakpoint. So for here, I'm gonna hit resume and it jumps to the next breakpoint. If I hit resume again, it's gonna go to the same breakpoint. The reason is because we're inside this for loop. So I'm gonna hit resume again. Basically, it's gonna finish everything down here, then it loops up and it hits the same breakpoint again. All right. And if I hit, if I, if I no longer want this breakpoint, I can just remove the breakpoint and hit resume. For, if I hit resume now, it, the, uh, the entire script is gonna be finished because it's gonna keep on processing everything and there's no more breakpoint so it's gonna it's gonna be done and it's gonna exit 
and there it goes once the script is done debugging is done you can return back to your game but in order to play your game you need to change here because right now it's current server so i need to click on here so it changes back to current client and now i can return back to my game it just looked a little funny when i walk all right and when you're done you can just press stop so that's how we use debugging in roblox thank you for watching we'll see you next time